All right, we are back. My name is Todd from Co2 Cards. We've been doing a series of high rarity cards that you should be buying right now. We went through, we started with the ultimate rares. I gave you, I think, five, maybe four ultimate rares you should be buying. Then we moved on to the collector rares, gave you several, uh, a lot of different collector rares that I think you should be buying right now. A couple days ago, we did the Starlight Rares. I started by saying, I do not think in 2023 you should be buying Starlight Rares because of the quarter century rarity and how that's going to affect the value of Starlights. But I know people are going to do it anyways. So we gave you four or five Starlights to look at now. Today, we are looking at the last section of this. We're looking at Ghost Rares. And what ghost rares should we be buying? That's what we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to give you four ghost rares that I think that you should be buying right now. Before we get into that, my name is Todd from Co2 Cards. So excited to be with you. Hit that subscribe button. We're pretty new to YouTube, trying to climb up there. We're uh, somewhere around 240 subscribers, trying to get up to that 300 mark. Now, we are doing this as part of a giveaway for hitting 200 subscribers. We're already at 240 and we're not done celebrating 200 subscribers. I do have the giveaway for the last three cards to reveal to you today. So let me jump right into this. The ultimate rare, whoever's getting that ultimate rare video, the giveaway was the Forbidden Droplet. Um, the winner of that is Looper Cow. I think I'm saying that right. It's L-U-P-E-R-C-A-L. You've got the Forbidden Droplet. Um, so we'll move on from there. The Collector Rare video for the Beat Cop Collector Rare. The winner of that giveaway is 1-3 three seven zero one zero spelled out z e r o you won the giveaway for the beat cop now the last one is the starlight um you had two options the winner chose the option of phantasme and that is abernator a b e n a t o r so you've got, you won the Phantasme um, Korean Starlight. So these are the three cards that are going to be sent out. I'm going to get in touch with you. I'll give you my our business email. Then you send me your address. Um, and then I'll try and get these cards out to you as quickly as possible. Congratulations to those that have won. If you're new to the channel, we do giveaways every week. We are giving away good playable cards, collectible cards that people really want. So hang in there with us. We try and do a lot of giveaways on this channel. So let me jump right into the ghost rares. Um, so we did the giveaways. We did the subscribe to the channel. We did the introduction. Here are the ghost rares that I think you should be buying. I'm going to bring them up on TCG player um, so you can see the prices and what's happening with these. So let's jump right in here. All right, so the first one, this is on the thumbnail, so this should be of no surprise to you. I think the fact that the Cyber Dragon out of Ghosts from the Past 2 is sitting somewhere under $50, I think that's nuts. Uh, I think you should be buying this card. Uh, of all the ones that we did, I think the ultimate rares... Uh, are the, the the easiest to identify when you when you're talking about uh, Ghost Reaper uh, and you're talking about the um, a, 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 the adventure package and and you're looking at these cards that are under thirty dollars. I think that's so easy to identify a real bargain. 
And the only thing that matches that is this ghost rare section. Particularly, you know, these four that I'm going to give you. This Cyber Dragon at $50. Less than $50. So I'm going to bring it up to you um, so you can see the chart here. That's three months. Let's look at the chart over the course of a year. Start at a year ago. This car was around $90. It has done nothing but go down, then it goes down. Now it's gonna it's gonna go down all the way down to about fifty dollars, but then it's gonna go back up and it's gonna say no nah, fifty dollars is too cheap, but then it's gonna go back down. Right now you can get this card around fifty dollars. Actually, people are picking this card up for forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars for light play. Uh, near mint, you're looking at $50. Remember, these cards do have the scuffing on the back, these ghost rares, but they almost all have it. And I don't know, I've not seen one that didn't have it. So maybe you have, but every single ghost rare that I saw from Ghosts from the Past 2 had that scuffing on it. I think that that's going to help keep the value up because you're not looking at this one has it and this one doesn't. They all have it. And because of that, there's not you know worse ones than other, well, there are worse ones than other ones. I've seen them have the scuffing really, really bad on there. I've seen them have it not too bad, but they all have it. Um, and so because they all have it, I don't think that it crushes the value of the card. Um, so if you, if you, if you had one and it was the only one that had the scuffing on it, yeah, that would crush the value of the card. But since they all have it, then I don't think that it kills the value. So under $50 is insane. Um, I have a playset of this um, just because it went too cheap. And I think I bought mine when, it, when they were around $60. Um, this is just way too cheap. Go in, grab your Cyber Dragon Ghost Rares. These will go up. They will. In fact, I think Ghost from the Past 2 is a set that is just... It has so much value in there. Um, now, I know that you're just talking about the Ghost Rares, but... but the ghost rares in Ghosts from the Past 2 all have a ton of value. These cards will go up. They're not going to sit under $50 forever. Um, they will go up. And when they do, you already have them. This is a great pickup right now. Second card I want to look at right here is Dark Magician Girl out of Ghosts from the Past 2 as well. This card is under $200. You all know, you know, this has the waifu tax, this has the collector tax, this has the dark magician girl tax. It's not just a waifu, it's dark magician girl. Um, and it's a ghost of dark, when this card first came out, we were lucky enough, we bought a lot of this. We bought a lot of ghosts from the past too. And, and when we opened it, we were able to get four. Um, Ghost Rare um, Dark Magician Girls. And I sold all of them for $400. And I thought I was going to lose on that. I thought, I'm going to sell these at $400. It's going to go up to $600, $700. It's gone down. But it's not going to stay down. This is Dark Magician Girl. You know this card is going to go up. Yu-Gi-Oh! players love their waifus. But they, if there's anything they love more than just a general waifu, it's Dark Magician Girl. Um, Dark Magician Girl will go up. Trust me. It's not going to stay under 200 This is a great deal under $200 um, for your Dark Magician Girls. And you can see on the chart here uh, after a year. Um, so this set is older than a year. Um, and so it can only go back a year and a year ago it was $323. If you go back to when it first came out, um, which I think is somewhere around March or April, what you'll see is this car was $400, sometimes 400 
um, $20, somewhere around there. Um, that's when I was selling them. It went down to $300, um, and then it's going to go down to $200, um, and now it is somewhere around $190. Um, somebody picked one up for $177, 180 for moderate play. Um, let's see. Let's go down here. Near Mint first edition, 183. That's a steal. Now I know 183 is a lot of money for a piece of cardboard with this weird printing on it, but this card will go up. You know it will go up. It's Dark Magician Girl. This is worth this is worth picking up. Uh, the next card also from um, the same set um, from Ghost from the Past to uh, the Wing Dragon of Ra. And the reason that I'm showing you this is right now you can pick this card up for $50. Why can you pick this card up for $50? Because it's not in the meta. But it wasn't long ago that this card was in the meta, right? With, um, I think it was... I think it was Tier Elements and Cash Tira. Um, until Cash Tira started adjusting the way that they play, where they just got the Arise Heart out and then they pass. But before that, when they were building the whole board, this card was in the meta. When Tier Elements was, was around, this card was in the meta. I want you to see what this card looks like when it's in the meta. Here we go. Look at that's a beautiful chart. When you see a chart like that, you know that this is a card that will go up. Um, so what you see is way back here, June, like a year ago, um, you could pick up this card for about $50. Then it found its way into the meta, and when it did, it went all the way up to $83. Wouldn't it have been nice to have those when they were $50 and watch it go all the way up to $83 for you to either sell or play or just have and know that the value has gone up tremendously. Then it fell out of the meta and it's going down, it's going down, it's going down, uh, it's going all the way back down to $50. Then it's going to go back up. What's it going to go back up to? About $67 because it doesn't stay there super long. Then it goes back down. Right now, you can get it at that low point where it seems to always kind of settle around $50. The card will go back up. It will find its way back into the meta. Get it at $50 so you don't have to pay $80, $70, 65 whatever it is for this card. You have it now. These charts are very telling of kind of the history of the card and the future of the card. It's showing you that the card goes in and out of the meta. If a card just spikes up and then goes down, that tells you that it, it came into the meta once, maybe, uh, one time, and then it immediately it, it didn't get any traction and it's gone. But when you see multiple spikes what you're seeing is a card that finds its way into the meta over and over and over again. This is a great card to buy because of that. There's very minimal risk here. If you don't like it, if you get tired of the card, if you don't play the card, you can sell it on the next spike. And you don't have to wait 10 years for the next spike. It spiked twice in the last year. It will spike in this next year at least once, probably twice. Um, the last card that I want to talk about from uh, of the Ghost Rares is this. Now I know I know people hate this card because they didn't want it. They didn't want this to be the Ghost Rare in Duels from the Deep. They were sad about it. But you you have to admit. First of all, I have this Ghost Rare. I have I have all these Ghost Rares that I talked about, but I have this Ghost Rare. It's an absolutely beautiful Ghost Rare with no issues. Now, I'm sure there are some out there with issues. Mine doesn't have an issue. I have not seen that many of them have issues. It's a beautiful Ghost Rare, and it is a card that, that, 
that is just iconic for a certain time in Yu-Gi-Oh! This card dominated. So I don't blame them for doing this. Um, but the reason that I'm putting it on the list is it's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars, man. You're gonna you buy this card for twenty dollars, you put it on your shelf, you look at it every once in a while, and a year, two years from now, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, when did this card go up to fifty dollars? When did this card become a $60 card? And it's just because of time. It's just because you can't open the set anymore. You can't get it. There's a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of them out there on the market because people didn't want to open this set. And the card just goes up and up and up and up and up. And you got it at $20. I think you know, if you got $20, just, just pick this up. It's a great buy. It really is. It can't go any lower, right? <laughs> I mean, at least give me that. At least give me that the card can't go any lower. It, well, I mean, I know that it could, but it's it's probably not going to go any lower. And if it does, I'm just going to buy them all. <laughs> to be honest, I'm just going to lie. I'm a, I'll I'll use it as wallpaper in 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 my room here. Um, I think these are four great cards to buy. Ghosts from the past too. Uh, all of the ghost rares in there are pretty much underpriced. Um, except maybe the Eye of Tamias. Uh, I'm not super high on that. But um, uh, Dad is a great card to pick up. Um, the um, and, and any of them, the blue eyes, the red eyes, I have them all because I, I didn't plan on picking them up, but they just got so cheap, I just kept buying them. So um, those are the ghost rares I recommend. Congratulations to the winner of the um, of the giveaway. Uh, I will be in touch with you. I'll get those giveaways out to you. I'm going to be doing a lot of um, shorts over the next week because um, we're going to be updating some of our electronics. So I won't have access to uh, full videos a lot this next week, but we'll be doing a lot of shorts. My name is Todd from Code 2 Cards, and I am out of here.